Under heavy security, four men brought in to Basmani court in Moscow. All accused of being the gunmen in Friday's attack at Caracas City Hall appeared one by one. Bruised and battered, the Tajikistan natives sat silently while terrorism charges were brought against them, charges which carry a maximum of life imprisonment. One of the accused appeared semi-conscious and was brought into the court on a wheelchair accompanied by his doctor. As accusations of torture have been spreading, President Putin once again questions who is behind the attack. Who benefits from this? This atrocity may be just a link in a whole series of attempts by those who have been at war with our country since 2014 by the hands of the neo-Nazi Kiev regime. And the Nazis, as is well known, have never hesitated to use the dirtiest and most inhumane means to achieve their goals. On Monday, three more men charged with complicity for their alleged involvement in the attack appeared in court. Meanwhile, the search operation continues at Caracas City Hall. The makeshift memorial at the site continues to grow. Hundreds of people gather to pay tribute to those who lost their lives in what President Vladimir Putin called a blow to the nation. The Prime Minister of Tajikistan said his country opposed terrorism and intended to fight it together with Russia, as he signed the Book of Condolences at the Russian Embassy in Dushanbe. The FSB security service said four suspects had been arrested while heading to the border with Ukraine and that they had contacts in that country. Ukrainian officials have denied involvement. Security in the Russian capital is still high at most public places. These measures are likely to carry on in the coming days as officials continue their investigation. A number of planned large events in Moscow have been cancelled, including the Golden Mass Festival at the Bolshoi Theater. A reminder that Russia is a country at war on more than one front. Dorsa Jabari, Al Jazeera, Moscow. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.